Welcome back Interior Alaska. Joe Cook here in the sports seat for you this Thursday evening with your local sports. We start with some news from the dog mushing world. One of the greatest of all time, Fairbanks' own Lance Mackey made an announcement today. This afternoon at Big Daddy's Barbecue, Mackey and his comeback kennel announced Forza 10 as their new lead dog food sponsor. Forza 10 is a dog food producer based in Italy. Dr. Sergio Canello engineered the food. Former Italian dog musher Ariad Kachistan introduced Mackie to Canelo and Forza 10 back in July. Mackie is making a comeback this year, having signed up for the 2015 Adidarat. He did not mush last year. He finished 19th overall in 2013. His last top 10 finish was back in 2010 when he won the Super Bowl of dog mushing for the fourth straight time. Mackie was also the first to win four straight Yukon Quest races as well. He won both the Quest and the Iditarod in 2007 and 2008. This partnership seemed to be a no-brainer for both camps. This is something that I want to at least, uh, I want to listen and see what they have to offer. Because there's a lot of dog food companies out there and then some of them, they just want their logo on a person that might be able to make their company famous. And that's not what these two are about. It's, um, it is for the love and the care and the health of the, the animals. This is another planet of dog mashing, I said. This is another way of doing things. People might believe he's doing crazy things out there, but I've been following the team. <laughs> I can guarantee that it was a great game, and I appreciated the game that he had. And it's been a while since we've last seen them. The, U the UAF men's basketball team will be back in the Patty Center this weekend. The Nanooks have been on the road since November 22nd. That was the GCI Invitational. Home could be where things can change for the Nooks. The men's team is 2-7 on the year, and they've lost their last five games. Alaska played well in, their in the first half against number 16 BYU Hawaii in the AT&T Jamboree last Friday before losing that game. In their first GNAC games earlier this month, they lost by five and three points. This weekend, they host Portland Bible College on Friday night at 7, and they will also have an exhibition with the same team on Saturday at 3 o'clock. PBC is 4-9 and nine on the year, and they lost 80-58 to 58 to UAA on Wednesday night. Senior guard Bryce Lane leads the Wildcats with 17 points per game. But even in this recent slump, UAF isn't in panic mode as 2014 winds down. They start their full GNAT schedule at home on New Year's Day. Three players are averaging double figures in scoring, led by Ashton Edwards, 16 points per. The team feels... If they correct things on the defensive end, that will lead to wins. We have good offense. We just sometimes will miss shots, but we beat ourselves by not playing good defense and getting rebounds is a big key because teams will get, you know, third, four opportunities to shoot and they might score, but they might get stopped in the first go around. If we get more boards, we'll win more games. I'm pretty sure we will. That's been a big emphasis this week is, you know, get some stops so we can get some stuff in the open court. And that takes also takes the pressure off the half court defense a little bit. So, you know, more than anything is trying to, again, stay consistent defensively through the weekend. And I think that will help our offense. Local, local skiers went out on the trails at the Birch Hill Recreation Area for the Wednesday night race series. 30 skiers set, set out on a misty two-lap 2.7K race course. This is the fourth race in the WNR season and the only race in December. Max Kaufman would take the title with the top time at 15 minutes, 23 seconds, leading from the start. Shalane Frost was the first woman to finish. She was second overall with the time of 16 minutes, 15 seconds. Bob Baker, though, he stayed close, coming in three seconds after Frost and was the first in the match. Master Man Division. Melissa Lewis finished in 1653, getting runner up for the women. She was fourth overall. The finish of the night was for fifth place. Bruce Gard gets over the line just one second faster than Nathan Grafe to round out the top five. Gard 17 minutes flat, Grafe 1701. Amber Hadukovic won the youth division in 19 minutes 40 seconds and was 17th overall, while Barb Creighton was the first in the Master Women division, finishing 23rd. Some nice finishes in the last Wednesday night race in 2014. Trails are fast. It's a really fun course tonight. Uh, creative uh, link up of different trails. I don't think I've ever done this trail before, but I, I felt good. My energy was, uh, was there tonight. Good big crowd tonight. I think interest is uh, picking up in this this series, and uh, thanks to Ken and, and all the uh, sponsors for making it happen. It's a great series. Uh, looking forward to the uh, continuation of Wednesday night races in uh, next year. The Wednesday night race series will continue in February, and that'll do it for sports tonight. Mike Schultz is next with your full weather forecast, and we'll catch you next time.